All right, another helpful video segment. Uh, so when you get an offer, and let's say the delivery time or even the pickup time is way off. Let's say you're there at 745. You know, you're in the parking lot, or 740 rather. You get an offer and it says, you know, pick up at 603 p.m. What I would do is call the store and find out if this is a duplicate order, say from the day before, or chances are, I've had this happen a few times, ask the associate if items were left behind from the previous uh, delivery. Because sometimes, uh, for whatever reason, they don't bring out a tote of stuff. And remember one time it was like several bags of stuff. I'm like, really, you guys forgot all this? But anyways, have them check around. Again, stores are really bad at communication with each other specifically. So they won't leave a note or anything. So ask the associate on the phone to look around for a tote of items left behind. Maybe something. Look through the item list. See if they have frozen or, you know, other cold stuff. Because that's likely what's going on. For some reason, Spark, they just won't update the system to reissue a new trip because you'll see the tip and you're like well I'm not getting that you know you're not getting that so make sure it's worth your time and if it is a duplicate order have the store remove the trip have them cancel it on their end if you cancel that'll affect your metrics and it'll just go to another driver but if the store cancels it that'll delete it you know permanently so that way another driver doesn't have the same issue this is still an issue for some reason, but again, if the time is off, I would call the store right away, especially if you're far out from the store. Just call them to make sure if it's either a duplicate order or if items are left behind. Because I remember one trip I got paid like over a dozen dollars and just for delivering items that weren't picked up. And uh, there's no complaint from me. I made, I think it was like 16, 17 bucks. But again, just call the store. If it's a duplicate order, which happens pretty rarely, meaning like another driver already accepted the offer and they've already dropped off the order and for some reason the system just sends it out again, have the store cancel the trip. So that way you don't have to because if you do, it'll just go to another driver. But uh, I hope that helps. And uh, yeah, share this with other drivers. I really hope it helps you.